thank you for watching another one of my YouTube tutorials. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do what I like to call sunset eyes. It's one of my go-to looks, usually gets a lot of compliments. I always like to do a different fun eye look because my uniform at work is all black which is kind of boring and so I like to have a little bit of flair with fun makeup. I hope you enjoy this video. Let's go. I cut my own bangs. I think I did an okay job actually. I left them a little bit long just in case, but you know, I think they actually look pretty good. I'm I'm proud. Bye bye bangs so that we can do our makeup. I've already moisturized my skin, so I'm gonna go ahead and start off by priming. I'm gonna use the silk canvas again because I just, I love it so much. A lot of makeup artists say that primer doesn't actually make that big of a difference, and maybe that's true, but I personally love using primer and I see that it makes a difference for my skin, so it's definitely an optional step. My last video I was doing a very kind of thin layer of foundation just to look a little more natural and in this tutorial I'm gonna go more full coverage because why not let's be glam I always start with just a couple pumps of foundation because again you can always add more and it sucks to waste I'm using the born this way from Too Faced in the color praline this is one of the new shades that the youtuber Jackie Ina helped create she is a gorgeous black woman who is super into inclusivity of skin tones. She added a whole range of shades for South Asian people and as a South Asian person, I'm from India, I was so excited to have a shade that was created specifically for my olive yellow tan type of skin tone in mind. Yay! Don't forget to bring your foundation down your chin and onto your neck. I'm gonna say this in every single video because this is probably the number one makeup mistake that I see people make. Not that I'm walking around judging people, but maybe I am walking around judging people. Isn't that why I started this channel? The reason I do my makeup and film these videos sitting on the floor right here in my apartment is because it's right in front of a window. Someday maybe I'll have a nice studio with makeup lights and that would be super cool, but for now I'm using natural light because it's gonna give me an idea of what my makeup is actually gonna look like when I leave the house. Using uh, from the same company, Too Faced, the Born This Way Concealer. This is the color Golden Beige. I used to think that concealer goes on first and then you put your foundation over, but it turns out that you do foundation first and then concealer because the concealer can help act as a highlighter for your face. I'm taking my Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder. Go in with my light powder on my shiniest places cheeks, nose, right in the middle of my forehead. I have a little bit more tan skin. I take the same exact powder, but in the medium shade and go in on the bottom of my face. A little history lesson for you. Baking was really invented by drag queens. Lots and lots of powder helps you perform and dance under bright lights and your makeup still stays beautiful. I'm not performing under bright lights tonight, so I'm not doing a full blown bake like a drag queen would, but the concept is still there. Don't wanna be too shiny. Now while my face is cooking in the oven, I am going to do my eyebrows but I'm not gonna film it because it's a really long process and it's totally boring. See you in exactly no seconds at all because of editing. And I'm back. Yeah, so my brows are done. Oh yeah, I look like a person again. Now I'm gonna take my big fluffy brush and dust off all of that powder that was on my face. Some people like to leave their bake on for much longer periods of time, and that's completely fine. I find that if I do that, it creates extra texture on my face that I don't like. The amount of time that I bake is always just the amount of time it takes me to do my brows. Because I'm going for a little bit more glam of a look today, I'm gonna use more of a contouring technique than just a warming up the face technique. I only picked up product once on my brush, and then use that same product to blend my entire face. I like to start with just a small amount and work that for the entire face so that I don't get too muddy. I'm using the MAC Fix Plus setting spray to give myself a spritz. And then I fan my face. This makes the setting spray dry and really do its job, which is to set the makeup. And also, you look fabulous. It's time for my absolute favorite part of my entire routine, highlighting. Oh. Today I'm gonna use another Maybelline product. This is not a sponsored video, obviously, because I have no subscribers. This is the Molten Gold. Oh my gosh. Oh. <gasps> and I guess since it's on my shoulder, I might as well just, yeah. Okay, yes, yes, yes. Ooh. Well, I guess we have to do the other shoulder too then, don't we? 
Yes, oh my gosh, beautiful. Well, and since we did our shoulders, we might as well, yeah, mm-hmm, yep, we might as well. Well, and then we have to, of course. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. And then just a little bit up here. Oh, cute, Edja. A little bit on the chin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, just to really lock it in, you know? But we're not done. In what universe would this be enough highlighter? <laughs> Happen to have the Fenty Diamond Balm. Oh my gosh, Mwah. This stuff is pure glitter. I mean, I might as well just, I mean, look. Oh my gosh, yes. Oh, oops, guess I'm glittery today, darn. Just right in the middle of where I highlighted already. I turn my head, it's like, <laughs> Obviously you do not need to do this much highlighter or any highlighter at all. This is totally a personal preference. Why wouldn't you want to look like a disco ball? Okay, so now we're actually gonna do the part of the tutorial that's in the title, the sunset eyes. This is the eyeshadow palette I'm gonna use. I got it in my BoxyCharm box. Look at how pretty it was like made for sunset eyes. Oh my gosh. But any blush palette will actually do. Before I had something that looked like this, I was using um, a blush palette I had. It was like a bronzer blush highlight thing. I mean, do whatever you want. As long as you get like some sort of these colors from some sort of makeup product, you can do this look. It's called Cinnamon and I'm gonna dip it in with Poppy and just kind of do these two a little bit. And we're gonna go in on the corners and this is gonna be the top of our sunset. I like to do both eyes simultaneously. I feel like that helps me keep my eyes looking even, looking good. Then I'm gonna go in with this color rose and I'm gonna make that a little bit more pink in here. I'm using the same eyeshadow brush. I don't know if you've noticed. I'm not a makeup artist if that's not abundantly clear by now. I just kind of use what I have and make it work. So then I'm gonna take this color clove, it's a little bit lighter, and that I'm gonna go on the majority of my lid. Again, I'm just using the same eyeshadow brush, blending everything together. I'm gonna go back in with that cinnamon color, the little like brownish color. This one, again, you could use a bronzer or something if you didn't have this palette. And I'm gonna just darken up the edges just a little bit. I really like to do a wing shape with my eye, so that's just me personally. A trick you can do to define is take your sponge that you've been using and just clean up so that it's like really nice and winged out. Yes. I'm gonna take that highlighter, that same Master Chrome, on my finger and I'm gonna just right underneath my brow bone up here for a little brow highlight. And I'm also gonna take that same highlighter and go in my inner corner. And I like to pull that highlight kind of down on my waterline, just to make my eyes look even bigger than they already are. Now I'm gonna take that same eyeshadow brush, not add any product, and just blend out the edges a little, just so it's a little less harsh. Just using the empty brush that with leftover product really just makes it look light and fluffy and beautiful. Great. So now is the fun part where it starts to actually look like a sunset. I have this golden glitter pot from NYX. These are amazing, let me show you. It's like a, kind of like a jelly almost. Oh, <gasps> so beautiful, right? I think these are $4, $4. This is also a really great dupe for the Trophy Wife uh, highlighter from Fenty Beauty. Not that you shouldn't get Fenty Beauty, obviously, but if you maybe had $4 instead of 36, this is a great dupe. And I like to use glitters on my finger. Maybe that's not professional, but it's just easier for me. So I took a bunch of gold on my finger and I'm gonna start to put it right in the middle of my eyelid, starting right at the lash line and kind of building up. And this, of course, is the sun part of these eyes. You could use any glitter really for this, but I think the gold is the best for this look because, you know, the sun is gold. Let's go in on the other eye, right at the lash line, and then build it up. I'm sorry that I keep flipping you guys off, but I have most control over my middle finger for whatever reason. I'm focusing really along the lash line. This look does not require eyeliner, so I'm really making sure that it's shiny, shiny, shiny right along that lash line. Whoa, the sunset upon my eyes. And I'm gonna take the leftover glitter that's on my finger and I'm just gonna very lightly put that on top of that highlight that I already put in my inner corner. 
If I wasn't already covered in glitter, I would then rub my fingers together and put this on my shoulders and clavicle, but I'm already, well, you, you know what? Let's do it. More glitter. If you ever accidentally do too much glitter, not that that's a thing, but if you do, lotion will kind of make it a little bit less sparkly. I breathe warm air onto my eyelash curler before curling my eyelashes because the heat will help the eyelashes stay curled. It's kind of the same idea as a hot curling iron on your hair, but obviously you wouldn't put a burning hot iron on your eye. Mascara trick is to hold the mascara right on your lash line and then wiggle the wand through your lashes, focusing towards the outer corners of your eyes. This will give you a little bit of a winged effect and wiggling the wand will help your eyelashes stay clump free. And then for final eyeshadow touch, I'm gonna take a little bit of this goldish color with a tiny bit of that poppy and just very lightly pull it on the bottom of my eyes just to really bring the look together. I'm finishing off my look with a lip color that I have that just happens to match almost exactly to one of the eyeshadow colors that I used because matching is cool. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something and enjoyed it and stay tuned for the next one. Yay!